Hi there, my name's Mark Ling and I'm the co-founder of Traffic Travis. Now, Traffic Travis is software that will help you get higher rankings in, in the search engines and it'll also help you drive more traffic to your websites through pay-per-click and it also helps you a lot in keyword research as well. And in this short video, I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough demonstration of me using some of the best features of the Traffic Travis software so you can make an informed decision as to whether or not uh, you want to use it to drive more traffic to your websites. I'm just loading up Traffic Travis now and what we've got here is it starts off with a dashboard where you can see an overview of your website's performance and you can have as many sites as you want inside this dashboard here um, so if you're looking at your various clients you might have or your own website it can give you a really good quick overview um, all right this is one of my affi uh, affiliate sites dog obedience advice and I can see just at a quick glance what my top five keywords are in Google, um, so some of my top backlinks, um, and so forth. And you can even use it to spy on your competitors as well. Okay, I can add more keywords to track just by clicking add more. I'm just tracking 44 different dog training keywords um, at this moment. So anyway, this is a quick glance and that's what the dashboard's for. And then let's have a look at the My Site tab. Now, at the moment, I've got 64 pages that I'm monitoring on my website. I can easily import pages by clicking import pages and then just put a either an HTML page from my website or a sitemap or I can just individually paste the pages here and so it's really easy to import the pages and then for any one of my pages like for instance this American Bulldog training page here I can add a keyword that I want to rank for to that page. So all you do is you click add keywords, right? And then it'll give you a list of all the keywords you're trying to rank for and then you can just select one or two of those. And I've already pre-selected American Bulldog training right there, okay? So then what it does is it gives you, um, it, well, it tells you at a glance what all the backlinks are. So if I double click, I've got 104 backlinks to that page that I've built up. If I double click that, it'll show me where those backlinks are coming from. Several of them are coming from one website, as you can see, um, and in this particular case. And if I was to click on one of those, or double click on it, it's going to take me to the actual website where that link is. And it is this one in particular it happens to be on this bulldog training website and they seem to have put in the link right there and um, that's the link that links off to my affiliate site for dog training and there's my American Bulldog training page okay so the good thing about that is you could use this particular tool to find out the backlinks that are coming direct to the pages of your competitors as well, um, not just yourself, and then you may want to wish to contact these people to try and get links to your website or to even um, get them to post maybe a, an article from you or a allow you to guest blog on their websites, and it, it can be very helpful for building links. The second thing is by looking at American Bulldog training as the keyword we're focusing on, Across here, it's, it says SEO, four. Four is the number of things that Traffic Travis is saying that um, could be altered in my website to make it better on-page optimized. So if I click on that, um, we can see now that it says... Um, okay, my keyword density, it's saying it's a bit low, being below 2%. I actually personally think even even um, slightly under 2% is not a big problem, but it's, it's given me a warning there. It says that my H1 tags contains my keywords more than two times, and that's because I've used too many H1 tags on my page altogether. I should have probably just used one and then used H2 tags for my subheadlines. So, um, so there's that, because if you do too many h1 tags on your page or you use your keywords too many times then you're not really able to give a clear picture to the search engines of what your page is about um, and then there's just a few minor warnings about not um, 
not using um, the keyword tag properly in my meta description and so forth, but they're, they're kind of minor, but at least it tells me, yes, I've got it in my title, um, in my URL, and in my H1 tags and so forth. Um, so at least I've done those things on page and it's given me just a few quick warnings for other things. And I, you want to get try and see if you can get this number close to zero as possible. Um, and then you've got a few page warnings as well. If you double click on that, there's seven warnings there. Okay, it says, it's great, my content's got more than 100 words, my H1 tag is under eight words, which is good, um, but it's got too many H1 tags in the page, my page title and H1 tags are exactly the same. Um, it's um, saying that they're, they're not the same, sorry, so it's got a cross, uh, it's got the image, it's missing an alt, it's missing an alt tag, uh, all the images have identical alt tags, which isn't good. Um, so it's got a few warnings, but then it's got a lot of good things as well. Um, the URL is the correct length, um, page contains less than 100 links, and, and so forth. So you want to get that number. Um, it doesn't have to be zero, but you want it to be lower than seven anyway, maybe as low as three or something like that. So the, the less of these little things, uh, the lower these numbers are, the better your on-page optimization is for your keyword phrases. And you can run filters and so forth if you've got larger, like a lot more pages on your website to filter and find pages that contain a certain number of backlinks if, if you're analyzing your competitors or certain um, page rank and so forth. Um, anyway, there's there's several things you can do, and you can run site reports, um, and you can get really good overviews of things, number of page page ranks, backlinks, page warnings, so forth and so forth. And there's a lot of stuff that you can do. Um, now, when it comes to keyword research, probably the best free tool available is the Google Keyword Tool. And if you were to type a phrase like "lose belly fat," for instance, into Google, it'll give you into the Google Keyword Tool. It'll give you a bunch of keywords and it'll give you the global monthly searches and the local monthly searches and um, a rough estimation of your com competition in Google AdWords. Um, but the problem with the Google keyword tool is it doesn't show you how difficult it is to actually rank highly on each keyword in the natural search engines and that's where one of the ways that Traffic Travis is really, really helpful. It shows you a bit more data. You get to see, um, so you still get those Google Google numbers, but you also get to see the number of Google search results that there are, the average pay-per-click, the amount that it's going to cost to um, to get a top ranking um, from in pay-per-click. You get to see the number of competitive competing sites that have the correct all in title or or in anchor text. You've got um, more importantly though, you've got a rating here, and I might even just zoom in on this little screenshot I've made right here so you can actually see it a bit better you've got a rating here on SEO difficulty as to whether it's extremely difficult medium difficult very difficult relatively easy and so forth and then you can double click on any one of those difficulty ratings for a further breakdown if you want to see why is it difficult like this phrase lose weight fast why is it difficult well it's showing me the top 10 sites Traffic Travis shows you the top 10 sites in Google and it tells you how what the page rank of each of those sites are, how old they are, the number of backlinks to the site to the pages, backlinks to the sites, have they got links from um, from trusted domains like dot, dot government domains or, ed, or dot edu domains is, is it listed in the human editor directories, DMOS, Yahoo, uh, have they got the correct on-page optimization going on, title tags, description, H1 tags, and so forth. And you get a good overall picture of how hard it is to rank for the phrase lose weight fast. Okay, if you do want to see why Traffic Travis gave it its rating, you can easily do that. And, like, you can, alternatively, you find phrases that are a bit easier to rank for, like loose belly fat. Um, I'll just go back quickly to that tool here, um, to the keyword tool. You can see with loose belly fat, still a lot of people searching for it a month. Um, all right, um, global monthly search volume is it's pretty high, um, and yet you can find here 
that, oh, okay, it's reasonably uncompetitive. The on-page optimization, not many sites are actually um, optimizing for loose belly fat. And it's probably because it's a misspell. People are probably trying to type loose belly fat, but they've spelt it incorrectly. And so there's not much on-page going on. And the sites that are ranking, well, it's, um, it's easier. It's not, I mean, I'm not saying that um, on-page optimization is everything, but when no sites have very good on-page optimization going on, then it is pretty easy. Even even when the sites that are there have a lot of backlinks, it's pretty easy to get yourself into the top three or four positions in Google for that phrase, and so it's ranked it as relatively easy. Traffic Travis version 4 also comes with a brand new domain research tool, which will give you both ideas for domain names and also uh, some people like to use it to find domain names where it uses all of the keywords, um, so an exact keyword match domain. So I'll just click Fetch right here. In fact, I'll click into the box there. And I'll just use all of my keywords from my project. I, um, you can enter custom keywords, but I think those will be fine uh, for the purposes of this example. And I'll click Fetch. And it's going ahead and it's given me um, quite quickly a list of um, great domain name ideas as you can see and whether or not they're available in the search engine black dog tools black canine dog food dave <laughs> um, big dog dealer dot com so you've got some some pretty cool domain name ideas and you can run filters as well on those domains just simply uh, type in for instance if I wanted a domain name that had the word I don't know, let's say I wanted training in the domain name. Um, then I'd just write training, and it's found Hounds Training as one of the uh, suggested domain names, for instance. Um, obviously, you want to ent enter in more keywords if you want to get more results um, as well uh, when you're running your filters, of course. like Domain names like dogtraining.com is probably taken, and hence there's less suggestions for this particular phrase. If I type dog, obviously there's a lot of options have come up here for um, like moreaboutdogs.com, things like that. Um, can be very, very helpful for coming up with a domain name for your website. Now, moving on to the SEO tab, this is uh, really, really helpful for your search engine optimization. You can, uh, you can monitor the rankings of your all the phrases that uh, you wish to rank on in the search engine. So like for instance you can see here that I'm ranking number one in Bing, number one in Google on uh, the phrase dog obedience advice. So I could have added Yahoo to this project as well just for the purposes of this example I just threw in um, MSN Bing and Google for my tracking here. And uh, you can see what all your previous positions were from previous updates. Um, I've only just loaded this project um, a few days ago, so there's um, not much change, obviously, in the last few days. Um, but it'll also link to the best page on your website for that particular... Uh, I can move that across, but for that particular phrase as well. Um, it's very, very helpful. And then you can run a rankings report and you can see um, you can see the movement of different listings that you've got in the search engines. I'll just highlight a bunch of them and click OK. And you can see obviously with this only being run for a few days there's not too much movement but you can see a graph of the movement of each of those particular phrases and perhaps you may wish to even just monitor your top 20 or so phrases and just see their performance. When you run this tool over a matter of months you can see movements that might go from say page 10 in Google all the way up towards page 1. You should be seeing your graph go up and up and up over time, particularly if you're starting out with a new site. Okay, And uh, there's more that you can do uh, as well, you can um, there's a report button that's just off the screen. I'll just move that up, and you can see as well. And you can give this to your clients and so forth if you happen to have any. What um, you could give this to them once a month. What the phrases are that they're trying to rank for. What your current ranking is. What your best ranking has been over time, and um, has it moved up or down in that time? It can be very very helpful. All right, and then you can run filters on this stuff as well. Um, for um, key, uh, 
certain keyword text, page text, um, what ones have certain certain levels of rankings, and so forth. Okay, so it's it's really really helpful. And there's a lot more. Um, there's uh, you can research your competition just by entering a bunch of keywords in the box here, clicking fetch. You can see that it has. Um, well, bear in mind that I've only put in about 40 or 50 keywords into here. I could have put it in like 800 keywords. It just would have taken longer to process. But what you can see when you put in a bunch of keywords is you can see a big listing of uh, all your competitors' sites, how many of those keywords they rank on, or at least um, like a rough score line. Like when it says 2.95, that means that it's assigned, or well, they're ranking number... Um, they get different points values based on their rankings. Like if they've got a number one ranking in Google for a certain phrase, they'll get one point. If they've got a number five ranking, they might get, say, half a point. Um, that's just a quick example. So they happen to be ranking on dog aggression, number four, dog digging, number five, dog chewing, they're in fifth place, and puppy training, they're in second place. All right. And if I'd entered more keywords, I could have found out more of the pages that they had that were ranking and that this tool can be handy for finding out who your best competition is especially when you enter a lot of keywords into here um, and what they're actually doing what they're ranking on and so forth okay so you can have a, a really good overview of the whole market and you can click on any one of them these uh, the websites that show up and find out what they're ranking on and if I'd entered more keywords I would have found out more about that those particular websites that I am tracking so um, the next thing that we'll have a look at is the backlinks tool what you can do here is you can enter a page on one of your competitors websites um, or it could be on your own site if you wish and you can analyze and find out all the backlinks to that particular page and um, you'll get a, get a list, you'll get a site breakdown of the number of different sites linking. In this case it was just um, 19 page rank zero sites linking in and they're all using the anchor text American Bulldog Obedience for this particular thing. But what if I was to analyse say just the main dogobedienceadvice.com domain or try that and click analyse. And now that we've analyzed those, we've got a listing of a bunch of URLs. We've got uh, the Alexa rank of those URLs, the anchor text that each, that each of them are using, which um, is quite different all the time. And I can click on Site Breakdown, and we'll see that there are other well, there's 332 PR0 links, there's one PR4 link, there's a couple of page rank 2 links, there's a page rank 1 link. I can see the breakdown of .coms, .orgs links, and so forth, and the different anchor text, and the number of different times each anchor text is used. All right? So it can... Um, it can be very, very helpful when analyzing your competitors so you can figure out what you need to do to rank highly on those particular phrases. Uh, and you can see a big overview as well of um, all the different um, types of links and so forth that um, are being built to the site. Um, just at the moment that I'm recording this video, it's saying that it's 0.0%, but that's just being updated. That's a tool, just a slight bug as I'm recording this, but uh, it's just being fixed at the moment. Um, so anyway, uh, the next tool that we've got is this link finder tool. Um, and what you can do is you can enter in a bunch of keyword phrases. I'll keep it a bit shorter just for the purposes of this video. I'll just have, say, three phrases, and I'll click OK and then I click fetch and what it's doing is it's fetching me a bunch of suggestions of URLs that I can get links from, the page types, are they do follow or no follow links from the page, what's the page rank, the page authority, the link juice, uh, a measure of the value of that so we've got like page types, we've got pages, we've got blogs you could possibly get blog comment links from or do a guest blog post um, if you get in contact with those site owners and so forth. This can be very in invaluable when it comes to building links, quality links, to your websites that are theme relevant. 
Okay, so anyway, moving on to, oh, sorry, before moving on, you can filter them as well by follow, no follow, types of page they are, like if you only want forum links or only want blog links and so forth, or that the URL contains certain text or that the page ranks a certain level as well, and that can be very, very helpful. Moving on, pay-per-click tools. Um, we've got this um, new AdSense Finder tool that's been added to Traffic Travis version 4 recently um, so what you can do is you can find websites to advertise on in the Google content network based on the, um, based on their rankings in Google on certain search phrases now with Google search match these days if you're doing paid advertising it can get quite expensive um, yet you can end up getting your advertisement in front of the same people that were searching for whatever keywords um, that they typed into Google and then they found that website that um, that happened to have an AdSense position ranking really highly, you can advertise on it uh, f often for a lot, lot less money. Uh, I'll just give you an example. I'll just, um, I'll just shorten this instead of, we, you can type in hundreds of keywords, but I'll just, for the purposes of this example, I'm just going to write um, one keyword phrase in here. I'll put dog training forum into here and click OK. And I'll just um, I'll just click fetch. And it's looking and seeing all the different sites that are ranking in Google in the top 10 positions and MSN Bing. And it's listing their Alexa rank and whether or not they have AdSense positions available that you can post your advertising in. So um, earlier, just before recording this video, um, I had a quick look at, I think it was dogchatforum.com, and I'll just load up, sorry, it was actually petforums.com, and as you can see, um, when you go to petforums.com, for instance, here's an advertising opportunity here, in fact, Google's placed one of their own ads there. Um, maybe they're not getting enough people advertising on that particular phrase. And then further down the page, there's another advertising spot that you can either place a text ad or what I find to be better in terms of click-through rates, and hence you end up getting charged less per click, um, is an image ad that can replace all of that, that spot there. So uh, for those of you that are into paid advertising, you can probably already see how powerful that particular feature of Traffic Travis is. And just a reminder, you can um, you can see the sizes of the different types of ads that you can place. You can enter in much more keywords than what I've put in just there. And you can even um, filter it by the search engine, like just see the Google ones. You can put um, filter it by different page rank domains or certain Alexa ranks. So you want to make sure there's a certain amount of traffic going. Or you may even want to just make sure that it's got a number one or two um, Google position or something like that and you can filter it that way and if you enter enough keywords in here you'll end up with a lot of potential top quality paid advertising opportunities. Alright and then the next feature that we'll have a look at is the AdWords competition feature. What happens is, is you can enter a bunch of keywords into this particular tool and then you can um, you can either click update or get automated automated updates to run and you can uh, I'll just click update and what it's doing is it's going through 88 different keywords and it's finding out whether or not um, well who is advertising on each of those different keyword phrases and once it's done that check you just click on the buy website tab and just click matches and you can see who's advertising on the most of those keywords, which of those, which search engines are they advertising on, what um, what keyword phrases are they using, when was the, um, you can click on any of those keywords and see when did you first start checking it, and uh, which in this case it was just a couple of days ago for me, and um, are they still advertising on it? Yes, they are. They're in position number three now. They used to be in position number four when I first checked. You can um, uncover quite a lot of profitable keywords to advertise on without spending any of your own money uh, because you can monitor a bunch of keywords, thousands of keywords if you want to, and come back a month later and see who 
of your competitors are ab still advertising on certain of those keywords? Uh, which ones did they stop advertising on and which ones have they increased their spend on where they've gone from say position 8 all the way up to position 1 during that time and that can help you uncover profitable keywords without spending your own money and you can run a bunch of different filters and so forth um, on using this particular tool here. So now that you've finished watching this tour of Traffic Travis, make sure that you join right now and gain the incredible benefits, both in terms of uh, keyword research, in terms of the amount of time that you're going to save yourself in the long run, and also in terms of like driving floods of search engine traffic and paid traffic to your websites through utilizing Traffic Travis. It really does have a host of wonderful features. It's got uh, numerous updates are done to it all the time. And by the way, you're also backed by a 60 day money back guarantee. So you can join Traffic Travis, utilize the software. If it's not for you, then just simply send us an email within the 60 day period and we will gladly refund your money if it's not for you. But really, this is an incredible software tool. A lot of time and effort's gone into it. And as you've seen in this tour video, it's going to be incredibly beneficial for your online marketing future. So join Traffic Travis Professional Edition version 4 right now. And I'll see you in the members area. Bye for now everybody.